Hello, my lovelies, how are you? I am so excited to show you the April stash box because it's called Flowers and Showers and it is finally spring here in Idaho and the snow is finally melting. Although I probably shouldn't say that because now it's gonna start snowing tomorrow. Anyway, no matter where you are or what season it is, this box was a lot of fun to get you in the mood for the flowers and gardening and all of the fun things that we love to do coming this summer. If you're new to Stash Box, you can find a link in the description below. And basically it's like I send you Christmas every single month for $49.95 plus shipping. So check it out. Okay, let's dive in and see what we have in the April Stash Box, flowers and showers. Okay, so for our block of the month this month in the April box, it is the Echinacea flower. And as you know, last year, we were doing different blocks that didn't necessarily go together. And this year in the stash box, we're doing things that are cohesive and go together and will finish as a quilt at the end of the project. So here are our finished flowers, the Echinacea flowers. So we have a pink one and we also have kind of a fiery reddish orange one. And if you're really adventurous, you can do another block with your scraps that are left over with both colors. We actually did that here in the shop and it was a lot of fun. It came out really pretty. Okay, so let's dive in here. The large project for the month is the April, ooh, the April Showers Quilt Kit. Now this is one of the largest projects that we've ever done in the stash box, but when we saw this, we just knew that we had to do this. So here you have the pattern and it's called April Showers by Villa Rosa Designs. And we have all the fabric to finish the quilt, quilt top and binding. And we also included, I don't think we had the backing, but we included the quilt top and the binding. Oh, isn't that cute? I love it. Okay, so the fabric that we used in that was Love You S'more from Riley Blake Designs for the background and for the cloud. And then we had a variety of rainbow fabrics that we used for the raindrops. And I just love how it came out. Don't you love how it came out? Just a cozy, cute little throw that finishes 48 by 50. I'm gonna snuggle up with that tonight. If it starts to rain or snow again tonight. Okay, so our small project are these really cute little fabric pinwheels. And Lana, our shop manager, has been making these for years. They only take a few minutes and they're very scrap friendly. We gave everybody some different bright colored fabrics. So yours might be a little bit different than what you see here, but you could glue them onto a little wooden dowel and put them in your flower pots, give them to the grandkids and tell them, kids are the grandkids, and try to get them to run around and make them fling around, which isn't gonna work, but it might keep them busy for a minute so that they can take a nap. <laughs> or you could string them along on the wall or the mantle, lots of uses but we thought these were really fun, super cute, and you can make your own with some of your scraps. Okay, then we have all the little things that we always include in the stash box, and it's kind of a long list. So let me go through it with you. So we have our stash card, and on the inside, it lists all the things that are in the box. It also has a QR code here that you can scan with your phone or your iPad, and it will take you to a website that includes more detailed information about what was in the box. This is great in case you have some fabric that you really loved and you wanna get some more of it, you can see exactly what it is. We also include on the back of the card an idea page, and this is another QR code, because we can't fit all of our ideas in the box. So we always include the ideas as other little fun things that you might wanna to do to inspire you or get you in your sewing room. Then we also include a fat quarter. Everybody gets a different fat quarter, so they're all different and random. Our notion for the month, for this month, was a really long, narrow pair of tweezers. These are really awesome for getting into small, hard to reach places in your sewing machine or your embroidery machine, or maybe somebody who's annoying you, you just grab it and pinch them. And then we also have a recipe that we always include. This month we had a recipe for lemon blueberry bread, which is a zesty bread that uses healthy-ish ingredients which makes it great for sunny spring mornings, a perfect treat to take on a spring picnic. And then you could snuggle up with your finished April showers quilt on your little spring picnic. We also always include swag. And this month we had 
a little vinyl sticker that you can put on your sewing machine, your embroidery machine, you could put it on your laptop or your iPad or anywhere you want to put it to show your Revs Fab Stash fandom. We had so much fun putting this box together. We hope that you had a lot of fun opening your box. Please be sure to comment your favorite project down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you can do that and we will send you the pattern for free in your first box. And then we can get you caught up on the previous blocks that you've missed so far. Thank you so much. Please remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Comment down below and thank you for being here. We'll see you next time from our stash to yours. Bye.